jungles are massive, gorgeous forests that have some of the most unique ecosystems in the entire world. They are found all over the globe, but have several similarities that link them all together. One of these similarities is that weird things are often found within these jungles. Considering how rare it is for humans to travel deep within their reaches, with the lack of human contact, mysterious things have been allowed to blossom within the trees, from a boiling river to the marbles of the gods. Wow, this is hot! There are some incredible discoveries that have been made. Make sure to stick around until the end. You wouldn't want to miss the Sigiria Rock Fortress. Here are 15 of the most mysterious jungle discoveries in the world. Number 15, the Boiling River. The Amazon's Boiling River, also known as Shine Tempuna, is said to be the only river on Earth that is hot enough to cook a human alive. The river is about four miles long and is located in the Peruvian Amazon, where it's used by local indigenous people for healing purposes. The boiling river is said to be caused by a geothermal hotspot, which is a spot in the Earth's crust where hot magma from the Earth's mantle rises up. This hotspot is located beneath the boiling river, and it is thought to be what makes the river so hot. The boiling river is not actually always boiling, but it is hot enough to cook a wonderful soup or stew. The temperature of the water has been measured at up to 214 degrees Fahrenheit, but its average temperature rests around 204 degrees. The boiling river is located in the Amazon rainforest, and it's home to a variety of plants and animals. The river is also a popular tourist destination, and it's possible to take a boat ride through the river. Number 14. Ancient City of Nan Madal The ancient city of Nan Madal is a ruined city located on the eastern shore of the island of Pompeii that was the capital of the Sotolor dynasty until around 1628. Nan Madal's construction is said to be the work of Olishpa and Oloshpa, founders of the Sandalore dynasty. Nan Madal consists of a series of 99 artificial islets off the southeast coast of Pompeii that are joined by a network of canals. Most islets are about 50 meters in width and separated by 3 meters of water. It is composed of megalithic structures, of which people have been unable to discern the methods of creation. There are 90 plus structures, all man-made, from here all the way down south. The name Nan Madal means spaces between and is a reference to the canals that crisscross the ruins. Nan Madal was the ceremonial and political seat of the Sautalor dynasty, which unified Pompeii's social structure until about 1628. The central zone of Nan Madal covers about 18 square kilometers and contains 25 islets in the area. The biggest islet is called Temwen, and it contains the remains of Sautalor palaces and temples. Many people liken the city to the lost Atlantis, with some believing that they are one and the same. Number 13. Uncontacted Amazon Tribe Working with the BBC for the first time ever, the world at large was able to catch a glimpse into the lives of an uncontacted tribe living within the Amazon rainforest. Filmed using powerful zoom lenses a kilometer away in the area, large efforts were made to not be a distraction to these people. Their tribe exhibits a Stone Age culture with their simple tools and weapons, clubs, spears, and bows. The men covered their bodies with red body paint, which is extracted from seeds from the anato tree. Their shelter, huts made of leaves and wood, are surrounded by gardens of manioc, bananas, and papaya. There are several uncontacted tribes throughout the world, but they are becoming rarer as days go on. With an increasingly connected world, it becomes difficult to stay away from technological development, and sometimes these people are assimilated without their consent. It is a positive thing that the people observing this tribe attempted to be as minimally invasive as possible. Number 12 abandoned plains. While on a routine trip through the Amazon jungle, Brazilian authorities discovered dozens of abandoned plains that have been left to rust in the dense jungle foliage. The plains were allegedly used in drug trafficking operations, with the earliest ones dating back to the 1960s. 
There weren't any new planes because they would be too incredibly difficult to get a hold of, but nobody knows if these planes were abandoned because they were replaced or because the drug operation fell apart. The planes have been Murta a Ploma. Yeah, let's go, let's go talk to him. Uh, oh, is this it? Yeah. yeah. Here's the door dead on arrival and are currently being dismantled and removed. There hasn't been any pertinent information gotten from any of the in-plane systems such as the black box, despite several attempts to extract important info. It's unclear why the Brazilian government believes that these planes were used in a drug trafficking organization and it's likely they have more information than they are giving out to the public. Hopefully, when more is known, we'll learn more about this strange discovery. Number 11. Machu Picchu Machu Picchu is a 15th century Inca citadel located in the eastern Cordillera of southern Peru on a 2,430 meter or 7,970 foot mountain range. It is located in the Cusco region. Yorubamba Province, Machu Picchu District in Peru, above the Sacred Valley which is 80 kilometers or 50 miles northwest of Cusco, and through which the Yorubamba River flows. Most archaeologists believe that Machu Picchu was built as an estate for the Inca Empire, Pachacuti 1438-1472. Often mistakenly referred to as the Lost City of the Incas, it is the most familiar icon of Inca civilization. The Incas built the estate around 1450 but abandoned it a century later at the time of the Spanish conquest. Machu Picchu was built in the classical Inca style with polished dry stone walls. Its three primary structures are the Intihuatana, the Temple of the Sun, and the Room of the Three Windows. Most of the outlying buildings have been reconstructed in order to give tourists a better idea of how they originally appeared. By 1976, 30% of Machu Picchu had been restored. The restoration work continues to this day, with architects hoping to eventually bring the city back to its former glory. Number 10. The Poisonous Golden Frog the poisonous golden frog is found in the rainforests of Central and South America. It is a beautiful but deadly creature and is one of the most poisonous animals in the world, with its poison having the capability to kill a human within just mere minutes. The golden frog's poison is so strong that it has been used by indigenous people for centuries to make poison darts and arrows. The poisonous golden frog is diurnal, meaning it is active during the day and it spends most of its time in trees feeding on various insects. Its notable golden color is a result of several centuries of evolution, and it is meant to warn predators that it is incredibly poisonous to eat. This generally works and there are very few predators of this frog that don't die upon eating it. Although it's absolutely gorgeous, this is definitely one animal you shouldn't try to tut. Number 9 the Colt Clan. The Colt Clan, otherwise known as the Colt Family, are the main parties in the Colt Family incest case. This case concerns an Australian family who in 2012 were discovered to have been engaging in four generations of incest, beginning with the couple known as the Time and June Colt. They supposedly emigrated from New Zealand in the 1970s, where they took refuge in one of the jungles within Australia. They all lived on a farm near Buroa. New South Wales, and the family's true identity remains unknown to the public. The name Colt is a pseudonym used by the court system, as are all of the family's given names. The family is incredibly secretive and doesn't like any interference by outsiders to the point of growing all of their own food and making their own clothes. If they weren't discovered in 2012, it's likely that their activities would have continued for several decades to come. Number 8. Real Life Tarzan when the Vietnam War was busy tearing apart the country of Vietnam, a man decided that it was worth losing his life serving in the fight. Because of this, he fled into the jungle with his son, believing that they had a better chance out there than within the city limits. This was in 1972, when Ho Van Lang, the man's son, was only five years old. Over the next 41 years, they lived in the jungle with no external help, foraging for their own food and passing time with whatever they could find. It was a difficult time, but according to Ho Van Than, it was a necessary one. The two of them only returned to civilization in 2013, when Than's health began to deteriorate. 
He sadly passed away in 2017 at the age of 86. It took his son several years to get used to civilization because he'd left it when he was so young. But from what it sounds like, he got used to it fairly well. He sadly also passed away in 2021 of liver cancer. And it's interesting to think about what he thought of the life he lived. Number 7. The Rotting Corpse Flower the rotting corpse flower is a rare species of flower that blooms for only one day every year. The flower is found in the rainforests of Indonesia and is known for its putrid smell, which is similar to that of a rotting corpse. The rotting corpse flower is the largest flower in the world, measuring up to 10 feet 3 meters in diameter. The flower is composed of thousands of tiny flowers, each of which produces its own unique smell. When the rotting corpse flower blooms, the stench is so strong that it can be smelled from up to a mile away. The rotting corpse flower gets its name from its smell, which is caused by the flower's production of methane and other gases. These gases are produced by the decomposition of the flower's own pollen, and many believe that it smells like this in order to attract insects that it dissolves as its food. The rotting corpse flower blooms for only one day each year, typically in the month of June, and it takes a massive amount of energy for this plant to do this. After blooming, the flower dies, and the process starts all over again the following year. Before we go on, do like this video, smash that subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or the centipede will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. It's time for today's subscriber pick. This peculiar image was taken in the jungles of Brazil where a camera was left to record the growth of the plants in the area. However, this creature seemed to take a liking to it, however, and paused for a while to stare into the lens. It's unlike anything we've ever seen before, and many people have attempted to claim that this is what Bigfoot actually looks like. That argument has little evidence, of course, so people are left scratching their heads as to what it could be. It looks sort of like a man, but with a crazy amount of hair and fur and with a strangely large nose. It also doesn't seem to be all that happy, with pursed lips and angry-looking eyes. What kind of creature do you think this could be? What do you think is going on in the jungles of Brazil? And do you think that this could finally be concrete proof of Bigfoot existing? Remember to comment below with the hashtag subscriber pick and let us know what you think. Now on to the next topic. Number 5. Ancient Mayan Ruins the ancient ruins of Palenque are some of the most impressive and well-preserved Maya ruins in all of Mesoamerica. The site is located in the state of Chiapas, in southern Mexico, about 130 kilometers or 80 miles south of the city of Campeche. The Palenque ruins date back to the 7th century AD and were at the height of their power and influence from about 600 to 900 AD. The site covers an area of about 2 square kilometers, 1 square mile, and includes a number of temples, palaces, and other buildings as well as a huge complex of stone carvings and hieroglyphic inscriptions. The most famous structure at Palenque is the Temple of the Inscriptions, which is the largest Mayan temple ever discovered. The temple is decorated with hundreds of detailed carvings and hieroglyphs and contains the tomb of Palenque's most famous ruler, Pakal the Great. Other notable structures at Palenque include the Temple of the Sun, the Temple of the Cross, the Palace, and the Ball Court. The Palenque Ruins are a UNESCO World Heritage Site and are one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world. Number 4. The Sentinelese People the Sentinelese people are an indigenous group who live on North Sentinel Island, one of the Andaman Islands in the Bay of Bengal. They are one of the last uncontacted peoples in the world, and their isolation has resulted in them developing a unique way of life. Unlike the tribe talked about earlier in the video, they live on an island and therefore have very little experience with modern life, resulting in a truly isolated people. The Sentinelese are a hunter-gatherer society that are thought to have lived on the island for over 60,000 years. They are fiercely independent and have been known to attack anyone who comes too close to their island. There is a famous image of an airplane that flew over the island and returned with the underside of it absolutely covered in arrows. 
They do not like outsiders and will protect their land at all costs. In November 2018, an American missionary named John Chow was killed by the Sentinelese after he attempted to make contact with them. This showcases that these people should very likely just be left alone. They've made their way of life work for tens of thousands of years and don't need any of us to come through to mess it all up. Number 3. The Ghost Bird the Patu is a South American bird native to the Amazon basin and other parts of South America. It is a member of the nightjar family. The Patu is a nocturnal bird and is known for its distinctive call, which sounds quite haunting if you don't know exactly what you're listening to. Many have mistaken it for a noise made by a ghost while out in the jungle at night. The Patu is a stocky bird with a large head and a long curved beak. It has large eyes that help it to see in the dark. The patu has mottled brown plumage that helps it to blend in with the bark of trees in order to hide from the precious few predators that hunt it. The patu is a solitary bird that roosts in trees during the day. At night, it perches on branches near the ground and waits for insects to fly by. The patu uses its long beak to snatch its prey out of the air. It'll occasionally also go after small reptiles or rodents, but only when they are very opportune prey. They are not really dive-bombing birds preferring the easier life of waiting for things to fly by into its mouth. Sounds like a good time. Number 2. Lost City of the Monkey God the lost city of the monkey god is a lost civilization discovered in the Americas. The civilization is thought to have been located in modern-day Honduras and was first discovered in the early 20th century by an explorer named Theodore Mord. The civilization is believed to have been founded by a people known as the Almecs, who were some of the earliest settlers in the Americas. The Almecs are thought to have originated in Africa and to have migrated to the Americas through the Panama Land Bridge. The Olomecs are thought to have established the Lost City around 1200 BCE. The city was abandoned by around 400 BCE and was rediscovered by Mord in 1940. The Lost City is thought to have been home to a sophisticated civilization with a complex political and social structure. The city is also thought to have been a center of trade and commerce. The city was named after the monkey god who was worshipped by the Olmecs. The monkey god is thought to represent the sun and is associated with the planet Venus. The Lost City is thought to have been destroyed by a natural disaster, possibly a volcano volcanic eruption. The site of the city is now covered by a jungle, and it is thought to be inaccessible to modern explorers. Number 1. The Sigiria Rock Fortress the Sigiria Rock Fortress is an ancient citadel situated on a massive column of rock in the central plains of Sri Lanka. It is a royal citadel of an ancient Sinhala civilization. The fortress was built by King Kashiapa, 477-495 CE, in order to protect the kingdom from invaders. The citadel was also used as a place and a retreat for the king and his court. The fortress was abandoned after the king's death and was not rediscovered until the 19th century CE. The primary objective of the city, according to the planner, was to create a concealed city and a fortress. The fortress includes a palace and a park, the moat, rampart, and extensive gardens, including water gardens, ring the base of the rock. A series of stairways climb the side of Segura Rock, leading to the fortified gateway in the sky, which was once the site of a palace built by Kashiapa. On the summit are foundations of what was once a great and highly fortified palace and gardens complete with swimming pools, fountains, and water falls. A gateway leads from here to the palace. Within the palace are other structures including the Lion's Paw Stairway, the mirror wall with its frescoes, and the King's Palace. The Segura Rock Fortress is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Sri Lanka. Which of these things do you think are the most mysterious? Do you think scientists will ever understand all of these shocking discoveries that have been found throughout the jungles of the world? Tell us in the comments below. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It helps us to understand what kind of content you enjoy, and that way we can tell what kind of videos you're looking for next. Tap that bell icon if you're always looking to learn new things, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.